Welcome to the third episode in the Crystal Cruises webinar series, brought to you by Travel Daily and Cruise Weekly. Today, we are in Hobart, Tasmania. Joining us today is Crystal's Karen Christensen and Crystal's expedition expert, Mark Spillane. And they will be telling you everything you need to know about their new luxury expedition ship, Crystal Endeavour. Mark and Karen, thank you for joining us today. Mark, you're responsible for Crystal Yacht Expedition Cruises, luxury new expedition ship, Crystal Endeavour. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you, and I'm happy to be here in the heart of the region where Crystal Endeavour will spend her inaugural season. And I'm even happier to be here with Karen. Karen, before we jump into the ship and the itineraries itself, can you talk me through why Crystal has entered the expedition space? It was a natural move for Crystal to go into the expedition space because we have a very loyal Crystal Society member database that have asked and expressed interest for us to go into Expedition and Rivers, which you know we have, have now done. Uh, but people just are looking to immerse themselves in, and really stretch the boundaries of travel and where they'd like to go. And it was a natural transition now for Crystal to take their successful Crystal experience and put it on an expedition ship and that's what we're going to do. Mark, what would you say makes expedition cruising different to ocean cruising? Well, there's uh, many aspects and uh, it's really destination driven. Um, we will have what is uh, going to be the most luxurious expedition ship and um, we're going to pair that with the bucket list destinations and uh, immersion in the local uh, cultures that we'll be sailing through. Um, typically it involves smaller intimate ships, adventurous activities to remote bucket list destinations. Uh, on board you're more likely to find um, uh, enrichment lectures, uh, naturalists, scientists, uh, not so much of the Broadway style shows that you see on uh, ocean going ships. Flexible itineraries and uh, Endeavour's itineraries will be flexible which allows us to uh, really take in the local culture and the local experiences so if we see a wildlife sighting that we want to stop the ship we can do so. So the big question, where will Crystal Endeavour sail for her inaugural season? Well, we're pretty excited and that's why we're here because she sails from August 2020 and starts in the Russia Far East and does uh, the Russia Far East in Japan and so in Japan sailings and then she heads to Southeast Asia on her way down to Australia. Yep. And from there we'll go Australia over to New Zealand and then on to Antarctica via the Ross Sea departing right here from Hobart. So tell me about Crystal Endeavour's inaugural season. Why has Russia's Far East been chosen? I think it was a great option for uh, a true rugged expedition and uh, being in this part of the world, it was one of the, uh, it's one of the high, high note bucket list destinations to sail to. So we'll offer a round trip Tokyo on August 10th as her inaugural voyage and uh, go through some of the, uh, the amazing sights of the Kamchatka Peninsula, the uh, uh, Mount Hakodote. Uh, we'll go to Seal Island by Zodiac and uh, the Valley of Geysers, as well as some cultural centers and mountain ranges in the area. This will be followed by Japan's cultural and coastal discovery voyage. And from there, we'll move on from Japan, where Crystal Endeavor will embark on two expeditions through Southeast Asia, taking in the Philippines, the orangutans of Borneo, and Indonesia. All these itineraries sound very adventurous. Are all of Crystal Endeavor's itineraries focused on active discovery? No, no, they're not. They're a mixture of both because there is two types of clientele that want the more soft adventure cultural experiences like around Japan and those ports of call that we can take them into. And then you've got the true expedition traveller that wants to go to places like Antarctica and the Arctic and be a, a immersed into that true expedition experience of landing in zodiacs all the time and that, that sort of destination. And Mark, Karen mentioned that Crystal Endeavour will visit in Antarctica during the inaugural season. Can you tell me about what this will entail and the advantage of departing from Australia through the Ross Sea? Starting from the ship itself, uh, being the largest and most luxurious ship to attempt the uh, Ross Sea to Antarctica. And then of course, once we uh, arrive in uh, Antarctica, we can see some of the famous uh, explorer's huts like Shackleton and uh, Scott, uh, Scott's base, as well as uh, McMurdo Sound and uh, of course Zodiac cruising of the Ross Ice Shelf and uh, the penguin colonies that are located there. So it really offers a, an alternative from the voyages through Ushuaia. So a guest who may have done that can now come access it via the Ross Sea. 
And I think we're all pleasantly surprised to hear that the inaugural season will include Australia and New Zealand. No, I wasn't. I was absolutely delighted though because the Australian and New Zealand traveller really does embrace expedition style of cruising. So to be able to then bring the state of the art expedition game changing vessel to this market in her inaugural season really says a lot of confidence that Crystal has in the company uh, here and in the Australian and New Zealand travellers supporting that. But um, also it's great, I mean we've already shown that we were able to take a crystal experience and put it on the rivers. So I have no doubt that we'll do exactly the same with the crystal experience going on to the expedition ship. With six expeditions between Australia and New Zealand, what can guests expect? The inaugural season is uh, really is fantastic and uh, while the ship, uh, the Crystal Endeavour was built for the polar regions, We'll actually have six uh, expeditions between Australia and New Zealand, as you mentioned. Visiting the Great Barrier Reef, Queensland Swain Reef National Park, Lizard Island and the Whitsundays. In Tasmania, we have Coles Bay, White Glass Bay, and as we've mentioned, Bruny Island. The New Zealand expeditions offer a fantastic opportunity for New Zealand guests with both Christchurch to Auckland departure as well as vice versa departures. On these voyages, we will cruise through the ancient glacier fjords, hike through rainforests, visiting the Bay of Plenties, Mount Manganui, and the pristine sounds. And of course, we'll make the most of the wine regions here. Okay, so let's get out of this wind and head inside to hear more about the ship itself. So it's a little bit warmer in here, and from what Crystal has revealed so far, it looks like it's going to be an incredible ship. Mark, what will be the design highlights of Crystal Endeavour? Absolutely, it's going to be an incredible ship. Uh, the first and foremost space is going to be the major uh, design highlight. Uh, uh, 20,000 tonnes, 200 guests and just 100 suites. So a very spacious ship. Endeavour will also be PC6 uh, Polar Class compliant, and what that means is we can operate in summer and autumn uh, first year ice. Endeavour is being built to bring the beauty of the destinations she's sailing to. So you'll see the fantastic spaces with vast windows such as the promenade and the solarium pool. Six dining options including the well-known waterside and Nobu Matahishu's Umi Uma. Can I just say while you're on the subject of dining, of course. how important that is to set this product apart from the rest because when I say the rest, I mean traditionally expedition ships don't have the luxury of the space that this product is going to have to allow us to bring that crystal experience and those dining experiences onto this crystal endeavour. Yeah. I mean, this is what we're talking about. We're trying to explain the difference about the space of this product and all these beautiful public areas that you've just referenced sure. allows us to do that. What public spaces will Crystal Endeavour have? There'll be multiple options for our guests on Crystal Endeavour. Uh, most noteworthy will be the solarium. It's a two-storey glass-enclosed solarium where our pool will be located and uh, it'll really bring in the uh, surroundings of the uh, destinations that we're sailing through. We will also have Palm Court with, again, floor-to-ceiling windows, beautifully decorated with understated colors in line with the new Crystal Symphony and Serenity reimaginations. The Crystal Cove, which will be the main gathering space, really the heart of the ship. There's a, an incredible LED wall where they can actually feed images from the ROV, which is the remote-operated vehicles, to the big screen. We will also have uh, the Bistro, similar to our ocean ships, which will have beverages and snacks throughout the day. A great area to sit and relax after a shoreside expedition landing. And of course, we'll have the Connoisseurs Club, which uh, guests can enjoy a cognac and a cigar at the end of the day. And what about the suites? What can you tell me about where guests will refresh between their adventurous days? Well, there's 100 suites on board Crystal Endeavour, and that will consist of uh, one owner suite, one expedition penthouse, eight penthouse suites and 90 deluxe suites. And they'll uh, really be amongst the largest and most spacious uh, suites on any expedition ship uh, in the industry. So really it goes back to being a game changer. The, uh, the bathrooms will be uh, spa-like with heated floors, anti-fog mirrors, uh, dual vanities and rain head showers. So, but hang on, you've missed my favorite things. Well, we don't have time to list them all. Oh, well, I'm going to tell Jasmine then, because honestly, <laughs> you seem to think I have too many favourite things. But the warming closets, which will be with every suite. Now, I'm not sure if anyone understands what that is, but you have, you'll have you be given these most magnificent expedition parkas. So before you go out each day, you will put them in the warming closet to, so that you're super comfortable. 
and go out in them. And when you come back, if they're wet, they'll dry in that closet as well, plus anything else that needs to be warmed or cooled or whatever, or dried. But this is unique. I, I just want to make a point. This is, this is luxury in Antarctica when you're in these polar regions and, the, and with this uh, weather that can be ever so changing. So now that Crystal has well and truly entered the expedition space, what would you say sets Crystal apart from what's currently available in the market? Uh, the ship is the start of it, uh, without a doubt. And we've referenced so much about the ship and its space, but it really has significant space in this arena that nobody else is going to have at this point in time. And the onboard product that we are able to mirror from the success of our Crystal brand will also then deliver this luxury space and expedition that we're aiming to achieve and give our past passengers and future passengers. Hey Jasmine, can I just go back over? Remember we've talked so many times about the Crystal Hallmark features and how important they are to this brand's success. I just want to take a minute and recap those and what's going to be on Crystal Endeavour. The expensive all butler service accommodations amongst the largest in the expedition arena. Our award-winning Michelin inspired cuisine and farm to table wherever we can. Nobu, of course, our signature restaurant. Uh, Crystal's acclaimed service and generous staff to guest ratio. All gratuities and unlimited wines and champagnes and spirits. An expedition team of 25 who are experts in their subject matters. Com complimentary water toys, including kayaks, snorkeling, and more enjoyed on the yacht's fold-out marina platform. Full service, well-appointed Crystal's life spa and hair salon. Uh, which is, they are fantastic. Dedicated fitness facilities, state-of-the-art appointed gyms and fitness trainers to help you throughout your cruise as well. So how would you identify the right customer for this category of cruise? I think we're going to be very fortunate with the ship that it's going to attract a broader customer base, would you Absolutely, agree? Yes. I mean, we're targeting a luxury traveller without a doubt with the product, but we're also targeting a sophisticated traveller that wants to immerse themselves in extreme adventures. So we're pretty fortunate, I think, in that way, because we're not restricted as to where we can, this product is going to attract. And um, I think I've mentioned to you off camera or on camera before that we really got the availability to look at the multi-generational customer and client that just wants to experience an expedition product, but perhaps hasn't felt necessarily that comfortable with offerings of this standard before now. And I think that that's going to just make it so, more, so much more appealing to a broader demographic. Absolutely, yes. And the great thing is we'll have an expedition team on board of, of 25 uh, expedition experts. And we, uh, we plan on having uh, local experts. So as the ship moves from voyage to voyage, we'll have experts from that region to, uh, to make sure that the guests get an immersive experience. And we have a dedicated expedition lounge on board where the guests will have opportunities to have one-on-one -on -one time with these experts, and which will really enhance uh, their, their voyage. But Mark, you also mentioned at some stage, and I think Jasmine, you would have remembered, we talked about the, the back to the TV, the, the, the RVs. Yes, wanna, the RLVs, For those yes. people that maybe don't feel super comfortable about going shoreside, they're Absolutely. still going to get the experience. Do Absolutely, wanna... yes. So, uh, and that's a, a great point that if the guests uh, either cannot or, you know, they don't want to go out in the cold or, the, uh, or whatever weather we're, we're experiencing, uh, the remote operated vehicles, which is the ROVs, uh, can go out and we will live feed that into the cove so that the guests can enjoy a glass of wine uh, in the comfort of the ship and, uh, and s still experience the destination. Uh, that's what Expedition's all about and Endeavour will really bring in the destination to the ship. And Karen, what is included in the cruise fare? Well, the good news is Crystal Yacht Expeditions is going to be all inclusive, like all the Crystal brand experiences. And I think probably people are so used to hearing an all inclusive Crystal brand experience with Ocean that probably Mark, it's good for you to highlight again Absolutely. what's included in Crystal Yacht Expeditions and in particular the Endeavour. And absolutely, and you know, just as in it, as uh, the Esprit, we will have an all suite, all butler service the ship, as well as unlimited fine wines, champagnes, premium spirits, specialty coffees, and non-alcoholic beverages. Onboard entertainment, expedition lectures, and enrichment programs. It will also have an unmatched collection of complimentary Crystal Adventures ashore, 18 zodiacs 
kayaks and more, and of course specialty restaurant dining with Nobu. And we'll also include complimentary transfers uh, to and from the airport for all guests. Expedition is often synonymous with toys like Zodiacs and helicopters. Will Crystal incorporate elements like this? Absolutely. We'll have a, a fleet of 18 Zodiacs, uh, which is great because in, we can take uh, everyone off the ship at one time, should we wish. Um, we will have two helicopters and uh, a, a submersible as well, which we currently have on a spree and has been very well received uh, in the Expedition market. It's incredible to get to know about this new crystal offering. And thank you, Mark and Karen, for being with us here today. The exciting news is that Crystal Endeavour is now on sale. Karen, how should agents get in touch with Crystal Cruises? Oh, well, I hope they all know now that we've been open for nearly, nearly two years, 18, 18, 19 months, the Sydney office has been open. So the telephone number, 02-8074-6500, just in case they don't know it. But We've got a great reservation team, sales team out there, and everybody is as excited about helping people get their share of the crystal business, so we've just got a call. And Jasmine, before we go, I just want to say thank you very much. You've been absolutely uh, fantastic to do the webinar series with us, and we've dragged you all over the countryside, and you've been a real trooper about it. I'm sure this morning was somewhat cold, but anyhow, I want to say thank you very much to you. It's been a pleasure to work with you with this. And thank you both for having me from the, from all the way from Miami and I'm uh, happy to be here in, in uh, Australia. And thank you for tuning in and watching the third and final episode in the Crystal Cruises webinar series. If you haven't already, email crystal at traveldaily.com with your 25 words or less entry for your chance to win a Crystal Cruise experience. And now, we'll leave you with a video that recaps all that we've talked about, about Crystal Yacht Expedition Cruises, new ship Crystal Endeavour. From the world's most awarded luxury cruise line comes the world's largest and most spacious luxury expedition yacht, Crystal Endeavour. Built to PC6 Polar Class specifications with a sleek design and anchor-free dynamic positioning technology to explore the farthest reaches of Earth. From the Arctic to the Antarctic and faraway lands in between. With the largest butler serviced veranda suites, each a private sanctuary with room to roam, and lavish comforts that welcome you after days spent exploring. Elegant settings featuring Crystal's acclaimed cuisine and welcoming hospitality. An expansive spa and generous social spaces not found on any other expedition ship. Perfect venues for sharing stories of adventure with your friends on board. Led by a team of expedition experts, Crystal Endeavor's guests will experience immersive adventures wilderness landings, and extreme discovery. Come explore lands that few have ever seen on intrepid, all-inclusive journeys that defy imagination. Come discover Crystal Yacht Expedition Cruises, where luxury roams freely. <laughs>